Hey guys, hope everyone's doing all right. Now, firstly, before we get on with the videos, I'm sure you're aware of the title. You probably already know where this is going. But I just want to apologize for the noise in the background. Uh, my neighbors, for some reason, have decided to throw a party at the moment of me recording. So if it sounds like the drums of liberation in the back, uh, those are my crazy neighbors. Anyway, I thought I'd provide you guys with an update. Uh, there's been an update from Umisho uh, regarding the whole allegations and people getting very angry at Umi's show and um, basically everything that's been going on around that so because I did the original story I thought I'd follow up this has just been posted about an hour or two ago depending on when you've seen this so I'll read the tweet to you uh, and then we'll go from there so from Umi's show it says hey all I've got a few things to say if you'd like to listen first of all I want to thank everyone that's been supporting me through the recent situation as well as express my condolences to everyone for how horribly it's impacted the health of the community I love more than anything else I don't want this community to continue to suffer and fester like it has been for the past few months I acknowledge now that the only thing my actions while intended to be supportive have done is muddy the waters of an issue almost entirely unrelated to me I still maintain that I have not lied about any of my experiences but I feel that I may not have used the best words to describe said experience this matters little in the grand scheme of things but I apologize for not further clarifying and making it seem like I didn't care to. Immediately after my earlier clarification post I uninstalled Twitter for the sake of my mental health and have been completely absent from the platform. My silence was not meant to be avoided. I simply couldn't stomach the harassment being thrown my way. I can see now that this course of action only served to intensify it. I unintentionally drew the spotlight to myself and I'm sorry for that. My experiences with Reddy and Mont, don't know if I'm saying that name right, left a scar on me that likely won't heal anytime soon and I feel justified in voicing them but it was short-sighted of me to do so publicly when a more pressing issue was already at hand. Bunny and Reddy Amont being what I speak of. I hope in my absence that these things can more easily be resolved and hopefully through all the proper channels going forward. On that note, going forward, I'll be stepping away from the community for an undetermined amount of time to focus on bettering myself, stabilizing my life and spending time with family and friends. I don't know when, if I'll be back, but regardless, thank you so much to everyone who's ever supported me, shot me a nice message, come up to me at events and everyone who's ever watched me. You've all made what I've done in this community up until now worth it. I hope I get to see you all again, whether or not that day comes to pass, I hope you'll all keep pushing yourself to chase your dreams, whether they big or small. Never stop moving forward. Be seeing you, everyone. And then Technicals quote retweeted that saying, this is a lot of words to essentially say, I hopped on a bandwagon with my stupid relationship drama and made a joke of serious allegations. You definitely lied and it's in plain text where everyone can see. Glad you're voluntarily leaving, but it doesn't really seem like you had a choice regardless. Now, that should answer the question for anybody that was asking me on my video yesterday. Now, where are the lies? Where are the receipts? If you want to see any of the receipts, Technicals has covered this extensively. Uh, they're all over Twitter. And basically anyone that had access to that Discord at the time or any of the text messages will have them. Technicals has done a lot of good work uh, covering the misdoings of the Guilty Gear scene. And... Uh, he has my full support in everything he does. It's not like he's going after people at random. He's going after people that are doing bad things. Now, as far as I'm concerned, my stance has not changed on this. I don't care if you are white, black, female, male, trans, whatever it is. If you lie and you levy allegations against somebody else, I don't care how you feel. I don't think anybody else should care how you feel because the damage that is done to that person that you lied about, oftentimes, even when it comes to light, is irreparable. And a lot of people see them as irredeemable, even if they don't do anything. Their name is caught up in a situation it should have never have been in. The minute you put somebody in that light, the likelihood of them returning to where they were before that situation took place is probably quite low given the climate that we live in now. So it's really messed up to put those things out there as if it's a joke, as if it's lighthearted, as if it's something that you're going to be able to just walk back. Now, Umisho doesn't really have a choice but to walk away from the scene. The amount of controversy that is going to follow Umisho uh, going forward from this, I can't even imagine. And it's Umisho's own doing. I don't feel sorry for Umisho whatsoever. I don't feel sorry for anybody that does these things. Now, I'm sure Technicals are going to do a much more in-depth breakdown. Now, the video that I did yesterday was not meant to be harassment. I don't know if Umisho has seen it. Quite honestly, I don't give a shit if Umisho saw it. It was more for other people to see it. Me and Umisho don't know each other. There's never been any uh, chance to have a conversation nor would there ever be I don't see any reason to speak to Michelle sure. it's more to just put this out there and basically tell people don't do these things you might not like certain people you might not uh, like the way certain people behave but crossing that line is really a line that you can't come back from 
if you go to parties after FGC events or Comic Con or whatever, just be normal. And if it is consensual and you're both there consensually making out, don't try to spin it later on. Like they grabbed you against your will, that they did X, Y, and Z when there are several people that witnessed what was going on. Personally, if you ask me, I would just say don't go to FGC parties. There's been way too many controversies that have come out of these things. That goes for Comic Con as well. Every single time I go to Comic Con, there's some bullshit going on. When people ask me, oh, Mike, why are you not coming to this thing? I ain't trying to get involved in nothing. I don't even want to be in the vicinity when it's going on. I do like in this post where it says, I unintentionally drew the spotlight to myself. How did you think that putting up a phone case that says troll gang on it after everything that's happened, after technicals video on it, did you not think people were going to be pissed off about that? How do you expect people after seeing you on stage, after everything that took place, to not think that this is some sort of privilege because of your identity? Now, I saw a lot of you in the comment section saying you don't think it's because of the identity thing. I personally do. In the Guilty Gear scene, I think that that is a, f a fair assumption to make. Now, I, I did see some people saying, don't say Guilty Gear, say Strive, because apparently they're split, and Strive has its own thing going on, and the rest of the Guilty Gear community don't want to fuck with it. I don't know about all of that, but fair enough. Maybe the Strive scene, but in that scene, I do think that's the case. I still don't understand why the tournament organizers did not know about this. I do not believe they weren't aware. It was a very, very well-known thing to people in the FGC, even if you're not in the Guilty Gear scene, so I don't know how that happened, but to round this off and not make this too long, this should be a lesson to people. We may not like each other. Some of you watching this video may not like me. You might not like someone like Umisho. Even Umisho, after doing this fucked up thing, should still not have something like that done to them. Where someone's pointing the finger for something they've never done. It's just not cool. It's, it's really, really bad. Especially because I'm sure some of you guys know in the UK right now, uh, a musician slash TV presenter slash podcaster called Young Philly is currently having a finger pointed at him for doing unholy things to women, allegedly. Now, I don't know if they're true or not, but if young Philly turns out to be innocent, and I don't know if he is, I've, I've heard stories, but I don't know if he is, just using an example, he's screwed either way. All of his partnerships, his endorsements, all of the, p the places he was working, like the, uh, FIFA, which is a massive organization, Anywhere that was promoting his products, his music, it's all gone now. It's done. Even if his name gets cleared, those companies are not going to touch him. Now, in this situation, it is just Strive. It's not a massive, massive personality where they're being taken down. But their life and their livelihood still matters. They still have to wake up in the morning and face their family and face their friends and face people on the internet. So don't do this shit. Umisho has walked away from the scene now. The correct decision to make. Probably the only decision to make. I don't know how you go to tournaments after this shit has all come out. I don't believe it's to make Umisho a better person because you should just know not to do fucked up things like that. I mean, it's one thing to go to an event and get into fisticuffs with somebody, right? It's another thing to do this, to process it and then put that information out there. I don't believe it's to walk away to, to become a better person. I believe it's to walk away so that hopefully... Some other people do some stuff, maybe the dust settles and then Umisho can come back into the scene without there being any controversy surrounding the name. Anyway, that's my opinions on it. Uh, I did read through your comments. Uh, I didn't get to reply to every single one of you. I know it's a very touchy subject. Uh, I don't even understand all of the lingo some of you were uh, using, but this video is just to tell people, please don't do this shit to others. It's, it is really, really messed up when it happens, especially when it actually does happen and the people that want to come forward and report it feel some kind of way because they don't think anyone's going to believe them because of this shit.